Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, uh, learn how um, to access uh, a MODIS land surface temperature product. Um, uh, MODIS Terra uh, land surface temperature is an eight day composite, uh, about one kilometer, um, provided by NASA and USGS, uh, so using the LP deck. Uh, and so land surface temperature um, can be used for various uh, you know, research and analysis uh, to quantify the land surface um, uh, temperature uh, for various applications. Um, so if you want to access this data uh, using the Earth Engine Cloud um, API, uh, you can do so by um, uh, using uh, JavaScript um, code and um, using uh, application programming interface API, uh, writing um, you know a few lines of code. Okay, if you're new to Earth Engine, you go ahead and um, sign up for a new account using googleearthengine.com. Sign up. If you already have an account, disregard that. Uh, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do. So what we're doing is just um, um, access the data and then filter by timestamp and then also by our region of interest and then uh, generate actually we, we need to do also convert the uh, kelvin to degree um, you know celsius whatnot and then finally um, generate a time series map by day of year uh, that's what we're gonna do here so let's get started so the first thing is we need to um, access the image collection which is the um, id here uh, you can you can get this on on the earth engine api um, for example, if you um, go to EarthEngine, uh, Um if you go here, you can access, um, you know, data, um, data set here, and then Modis, and um, here you go, Modis 11A. Actually, I'll type in LSD that way. I'll find that exact product. Okay, so this is the product. Um, okay, here we go. 11A26 collection six. All right, so this is our data. If you go to here, 11A to right. Let's just check that. Okay, perfect. So you just uh, go ahead and then copy this and paste it here but i already have written it i'm just showing you how you can access uh, the image collection id so this image collection id is um how earth engine catalogs the uh, different um you know hundreds of image uh, for this uh, product right and it's categorized as an image collection id so each product has image collection id and then you can filter by you know product by timestamp and also by location this is a global data and a pretty large volume you know big data um, so next step is we have a daytime and nighttime LST so we're gonna um, you know filter uh, now in this case we're gonna use LST day uh, one kilometer so we'll select the product here and in addition we'll also filter you know the data uh, by timestamp so we will uh, provide a specific timestamp that way we're not gonna use the entire time you know image collection right so in this case I'll be using um, only 2019 to 2013 uh, 20, 2023 um, and so that's about um, you know five years of data and we also need to filter it by uh, regional features so in this case let's assume that we're gonna do um you know temperature um time series temperature five year um and all time you know time series temperature for new york city i can actually zoom in um change the background to slide light view so i can go ahead and create so if you want to create um you know box you can use these drawing tools earth engine built-in drawings if i click here a draw rectangle i can drag and including New York and then the suburbs. So pretty much here. Okay, so we have selected um, New York area. So instead of geometry, the default, I'll, I'll just say ROI. 
And so that's my ROI. And as soon as you create ROI, it's gonna create um, that a geometry here in our engine. It's gonna import it, okay? So we're gonna use this ROI in our um, analysis here. So we're gonna use this um, geometry to filter um, our global LST maps so that we can only display or just use in our analysis this one. So to, to, to achieve that, we'll use a filter bounds, which is an Earth engine built-in function. So that will subset um, by, by this region of interest, okay? So we can go ahead and um, execute that. So what it does is now we have already imported, um, you know, the um, LST image collection and subsetted it by timestamp, by product, uh, the LST day, and also by region of interest. And the next step is actually, because this is um, in Kelvin, so we need to do some sort of rescaling, okay? So uh, we'll, we'll call this collection here, as you can see, and write a function to convert uh, this into um, degree Celsius. So we'll map, uh, we'll use a map function that will, uh, you know, what it effectively does is apply this function to each image in this image collection, right? So function image and open a, a curly bracket and then return image. So it will uh, return the image, but then it multiplies by this scale factor and also imports the, the metadata. That way we can, we can, uh, we'll be able to use the metadata when we, when we do further analysis. Okay. So what this simply does is just um, um, rescale re the, the unit, um, the, the temper, the land surface temperature unit. Okay. And then lastly, let's just go ahead and uh, create our time series. Actually, we'll just use this one kilometer, 1,000, because um, it's um, the, you remember, the spatial resolution of the, you know, the data is one kilometer. So I think it makes sense to, 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 to define the unit 1,000 one meter or equivalent to one kilometer, okay? So we'll be using the Earth Engine UI, you know, chart uh, function, uh, day, of, uh, day of year series by year to generate a multi-year uh, time series. Um, so I'll go ahead and actually I can bring this here. Um, so this is the function that creates the chart. So we're gonna call our LST day. We're not um, call, calling this the raw collection. Instead, we will call this LST day, which is the rescale version of the land surface temperature. And then we're gonna provide our region of interest, right? So we're gonna summarize, for, we, we have to provide a specific feature or shape file uh, to run that um, time series extraction, right? And then we apply a reducer mean, which is technically a zonal stat um, um, generating the mean um, for that region of interest. And then we execute this code and hopefully in a fraction of um, a minute, um, in a few seconds, we'll see the time series plot. Excellent. So this is our time series plot. And the beauty of on the, the new Earth engine functionality is you can, you know, actually click this to um, view the time series um, data on a larger screen. So you can see uh, this is, you know, the different years. Uh, actually, we've defined the first, the third year 2019 and 2023 here. Um, we have our day of year here. And you can see, you know, temperature for New York City, uh, pretty much cold during the winter season here, January, February, and also, you know, November, December, pretty cold. And then if you look at the summer year, it's pretty hot. Um, so that's pretty interesting. And then the beauty about the new Earth Engine functionality is that you can also download the data without, you know, too much uh, difficulty. You can convert this download CSV. You can you can get a um, the table if you want to generate um, a more um, you know advanced uh, plotting in Python or R or any other uh, software tool to um, modify this this plot. You can do so. You can simply download the CSV file and then just do so. Or if you like this figure, you can also download the this image as PNG or CVG. Uh, to use it in your you know, pr presentation or publication paper, why not? So this is just uh, an overview of how you can generate a time series 
uh, land surface, a modest land surface, um, um, you know, time series plot using the Erzingen uh, API.